Hi everyone, my name is Victor. Today I'll be painting sea otters in water soluble or water mixable oils. This painting is painted off of an online reference photo because unfortunately I don't get to go out into the wild and take my own photos. I began with a really quick rough sketch on a plain canvas, then I blocked in some colors. For most of the painting, the main colors I used were ultramarine blue, Payne's gray, burnt umber, burnt sienna, olive green, and titanium white. I didn't have black or raw umber, um, that cooler brown, and I think most of the painting I was really trying to make that cooler brown with the ultramarine blue and the olive green and even Payne's gray. Anyways, as you can see, I blocked up some colors and then I went to better define some of my pencil sketches. Um, you might have noticed I went straight into some detail with the fur. Um, I am an acrylic painter and I recently began painting in oils or water soluble oils. So I do have a habit of going straight into the details. Um, the traditional painters out there might be shaking their head, but it is a habit that I'm trying to get out of, but it also works out. Um, with oils, I do try to paint more in layers and get into the details later. So as you can see here, I am painting the fur and it really is thousands of brush strokes and the three dimensional structure of the otter's face is really from those brush strokes. A uh, great th thing about oils that you can't really achieve with acrylic is that everything blends together really well and that really allows me to achieve a, a smooth three-dimensional effect. Here is a shot of my palette. Um, this is the palette I used for acrylics and for oils it is a bit cramped. Maybe I should get a glass palette or a bigger palette. But anyways, I'm pre-mixing some colors here. This is new for me because it's not something you can do with acrylics. They dry too quickly. So I really am learning about the process. I'm not using really a limited palette I think with the limited palette and with the colors that I'm currently using you can basically achieve the same effect so there's really no point and here I'm painting the water the water was kind of a challenge because I first of all never painted any water before but there is so much detail in the water that you don't expect and it's difficult to paint because I really don't know what should be blended, what should have a hard edge, and what color water really is because there really isn't that much blue in this water. It's There's a lot of greens, browns, and shadows. A challenge I had in the water and really throughout the entire painting was deciding what to keep in focus and render with softer edges and less detail. Because I was working from a single reference photo which had areas in focus and out of focus, um, I had to decide whether to refer to other photos to add more detail, like I did in the baby otter in the front. Anyways, you can see me using a 
fan brush to soften the edges a bit. Then I started painting the whiskers of the main otter that is in focus. Whiskers took a really long time to paint. I was painting them really slowly to not mess up. They were painted basically with pure titanium white and a bit of medium. Um, they don't look too bright because the brown was showing through um, despite the opacity of the titanium white. I really liked how it turned out. Now I'm adding some titanium white to the highlights on the fur to basically finish the painting off. I used to think I was a quick painter, but this is one of the first times I've timed myself, recorded myself, and maybe I'm not a quick painter. This painting took around 15 to 20 hours. It's sped up 25 times mostly, except for the video right now and my palette mixing earlier. Those parts were sped up 1.5 times. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching.